Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about how you are not suffering because God is trying to teach you a lesson. This is one of those things that gets passed around from professing Christian to professing Christian. It is a, a myth that plagues a lot of professing Christianity, which is they are thinking that everything that happens is somehow God's will. It couldn't have happened otherwise, which is just an old fatalistic, deterministic, Calvinist mentality that's contrary to scripture, it's contrary to anything about anyone who ever possibly knew God, knows that's not accurate, it's not true. The theologians think that's correct because they don't know anything about God either. They never dealt with him. They never had any relationship with him. So they're just going by what some theologian hundreds of years ago said about something and they think that's true. And people have adopted this fatalistic mentality that we know whatever happens must be God's will. God's doing it to try to teach us a lesson and they're trying to make it good because they know the scripture says God is good they know Jesus revealed a good God he didn't reveal a God that's torturing and punishing his children and making them suffer and be miserable and yet they also want to believe that he is making them suffer and be miserable so they try to kind of rationalize the two together and say well but he's teaching us a lesson you know, if he didn't care about us, he wouldn't chasten us. You're not being chastened in most cases. You're going through things that are not good because you don't follow the leading of the Spirit. You ignore his plain leading. You go against his plain will to you each and every day. And you get bad results because of it. And then you have the utter audacity and blasphemy to blame him for it, for the results. Act as if he's the problem. Not your bad decisions. He's the reason this person treated you poorly. Not you are the reason that you were in a relationship with that person in the first place. He's the reason your business failed. Not you're the reason because you made a bunch of bad decisions, not even going to God in many cases, to get some wisdom from him, to get some revelation from him, and your business failed. It is excuses people use, and God's not behind it. And this nonsense that suffering is somehow good because God's trying to teach you some lesson, then let me ask you a question. There are people out there with diseases for, they, they go through illnesses for decades. When are you going to learn the lesson then? If that's your faith, if that's what you're going to believe for, that you're somehow suffering to learn some lesson, then why won't you learn the lesson? Why do you refuse and rebel and ignore the lesson right before you, if that's the case? Why do you have to keep going through the same thing over and over and over again if you're supposed to be learning a lesson. Are you dumb? Listen, I'm being very blunt here. Please understand this is spoken in brotherly love and I'm speaking it forthrightly because you need to not be deluded or, or patted on the back and told everything's all right, you know. Oh, we all got to go do something. You need someone to be honest with you and tell you the truth. If you truly want to believe that, that you're suffering, and the things you're going through is because God's trying to teach you a lesson, then when will you learn the lesson? Why keep being ignorant and foolish and idiotic and never learning the lesson? You just go from one problem, never learn a lesson from it, to another of the same exact problem and never learn a lesson from that. And you do that for the rest of your life and call that a life. That's well, a life of all right, but it's a life of rebellion. It's a life of ignoring the leading of the Spirit. It's a life of declining the wisdom of God. And you want some real blunt truth here? The Scripture says not that suffering and misery and failure and all this pathetic stuff is supposed to be where you're supposed to be learning from. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. He didn't say all suffering is given by inspiration of God. He didn't say all misery, all failure, all bad things, all sickness, all disease. No. If you stop spending time listening to people lie to you and tell you that your suffering is for some greater good, stop allowing those things into your life in the first place. Get into the scripture and read some basic things like, for example, submit yourself therefore unto God, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. If the devil's beating you down every day, he hasn't fled from you, so you have failed somewhere in that equation. Don't blame God for it. The scripture is very clear. Submit yourself, therefore, unto God, resist the devil, and he 
will flee from you. If he's not fleeing from you, you failed somewhere in that equation. It's up to you to find out where it is. Maybe you have submitted to God, but you haven't been resisting the devil. Well, in most cases, that's not what's going on. Most cases, people are resisting the devil. They're fighting him. As a matter of fact, they're taking up all his tactics against him. So it puts them in league with him. They speak railing accusations against him, even though the angels didn't do that when they were disputing over the body of Moses. They didn't even bring a railing accusation against Satan. They just said, the Lord rebuked thee. Have you tried that? Have you just tried saying, the Lord rebuked thee? And go on your day in fullness of faith, knowing that you're submitted to God, and you believe that you receive, that you'll have whatsoever you say. And you start speaking forth the things you want. And you've resisted the devil. Listen, I understand. The world and most of the churches today, which are very worldly, they will get you in all kinds of religious fables and nonsense and mythology and, oh, you know, you got to do this. And, oh, God, try and teach you some lesson. And this illness is for, so you can learn some greater thing and God can get glory for it. But as I mentioned, why are people going through the same things over and over for all their life if they're supposed to be learning a lesson? It's so utterly foolish and blasphemous in the first place. But if you just sit back and be honest and think about it a little bit, just think a little bit about it. If this is God's way of teaching you a lesson, the sickness, for example, because that's a popular one people love to use, like some child getting cancer and dying at five is learning some lesson, that's insanity. That's utter blasphemy and foolishness. And quite frankly, it's wicked to even suggest that. But if you sit back and think about it, if God's trying to teach you a lesson with some illness and you never learn the lesson, you just keep going back into illness after illness after illness after illness, why do you think God is so foolish that he keeps sending you the same suffering that you never learn a lesson from and you never will if that's somehow his way of teaching you a lesson? He has no better way? Well, yes, my friend, he does. When you have that strange and bizarre worldview of a God who's somehow sending you all kinds of evil so you can learn some lessons, it's going to hinder you. It's going to keep you back. But when you step back and think about it, you realize real quickly that's so foolish. It's utter nonsense. Because Jesus taught how we'd learn. He said that the Spirit, when he came, he would lead us into all truth. John talked about in 1 John that the anointing we have received of him abides in us and teaches us all things. Not suffering, not sickness, not poverty, not lack, not stupidity, not ignorance. None of these things are teaching you lessons. The Spirit of God will lead you into all truth. But here is the caveat to that. You must be submitted to God. You must have resisted the devil. And it's as simple as saying the Lord rebuked thee. You don't have to sit there and ruminate and meditate on Satan. You just rebuke him. The Lord rebuked thee and you move on. But God's Spirit will lead you into all truth. He'll guide you where you need to go. He'll give you the wisdom and he'll teach you the lessons. And I'm going to give you a revelation here too. Some of these lessons, you don't even have to learn. He'll just implant them in you a knowing of some deeper truth, a revelation, knowledge, truth. And you didn't have to do anything to get it. Because the Spirit, the anointing that is in you, abides in you and it teaches you all things. Not sickness, not disease, not poverty, not lack, not ignorance, not failings in life and business. God himself, by his Spirit, will teach you to profit. He will give you wisdom and guidance and leading into all truth. So stop choosing the world's way of doing things. Stop choosing this mythology of fatalism that God's sending suffering so you can learn a lesson or two. Especially when you see the fruit of that teaching, which is people are never learning lessons. They're just going through the same things over and over again, go from one bad thing to another, never learning anything, never getting better, never becoming an overcomer, just becoming more and more victimized by life and the devil. When you, my friend, should be victorious because God has given you 
such great faith that you can literally decree things and see them be established unto you. You can literally call those things that be not as though they were, and you will have whatsoever you say, my friend. I praise as a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.